George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Once again, our hero George patrols the jungle, ever vigilant. Phew! <laughs> uh, A tree fell over? Oh, cool! <laughs> um, help? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. You should have watched out for that tree, little Ibex. Just get it off me. <laughs> Oh. There! That tree will never hurt anyone again! Advice, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya, George. Hi, Abe. Look what George did. You moved the rock? It asked nicely. <laughs> George, it says danger. Do not move this rock. It's just a cave. You're not afraid of a dark old cave, are you? You check it out. I'll stay up here eating this coconut. Hmm. My toes are all gooey. Mine too. It smells like cheese. It looks like whatever was trapped in this cave went like that away. Ursula Magnolia! <laughs> Have you seen anything outside that's eating the trees? We've just been hanging out with our new pet, Clementine. Isn't she the cutest? Yeah. No. Well, if you see something destroying the jungle, let me know. George, look! It's goo, like from the cave. Hmm. Let's take a sample to the doctors. <laughs> Just take the whole branch, George. Oh. Ah. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with you or the goo. It's perfectly good goo. Ow! But where does it come from? Every time a tree gets cut down, it's there. <laughs> Ancient wisdom says to know goo <laughs> must taste goo. Mm. Mm. Uh. Take that out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <it's cursed. laughs> you look silly. <laughs> Why do we keep coming here? Free candy. Now, Clementine. <laughs> Cute little pets don't spit goo. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, Maggie, I found Clementine in my bug book. See? Now we can figure out what to feed her. It's called a spitting screech beetle. That picture looks so realistic. <coughs> oh, my! My book! She ate the pages! <coughs> well, isn't she the cutest? <coughs> you want to go outside and do that, sweetie? Hmm? No problem. Use the pet door, Clementine. <sighs> George should climb up here more often. Such a great view. George, we're trying to find the monster that's devouring the trees. There it is. George doesn't see it. <laughs> now I see it. 
this. George, Clementine is the monster. She's the one destroying the junk. If she keeps eating like that, Jungle will become as bald as a baboon's butt. Without all the pretty colors. Stop, Beetle! <laughs> of this tree-eating scourge, they had but one problem. <laughs> what to tell Ursula? Where's my cute little buggy bug? Hoping that she would be fooled by a decoy made from paper mache, our courageous duo took the beetle through the canyon of pricker bushes. <laughs> across the dessert desert and the always fun garden of exploding roses. <laughs> Our destination at last. Problem solved island. Problem solved. <laughs> but their sacrifice and smug satisfaction was smashed when they came home to... <laughs> a strange surprise. Where have you two been? Look at the habitat I built for Clementine. I... But we... But he... How did... I, but... I thought... And I used Clementine's goo on my hair. It's the latest style. She must have followed us back. Girls, Clementine is bad. She eats trees and spits cheese. I made a rhymey thingy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Look at her. You have got to let us take her. You can take her for a walk after her nap. Now it's time for her massage, so shh, uh... come along. Far side of Problem Solved Island. That should do it. going on here? Sorry, Ursula. We have to take your tree-eating beetle away. Clementine is harmless. Maybe it's one of the other beetles. Other? Okay. The rest are outside. I think they're, you know, doing their business. <laughs> I don't see them eating any trees. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, did you miss the part where we said these beetles eat wood? George, you're the king of the jungle. So tell those beetles to cut it out. Beetles, as king of the jungle, I command you to stop eating the jungle. <gasps> George can't get beetles to listen. If they won't listen to the king of the jungle, who will they listen to? It is George, uh, your beetle king. <laughs> oh my, it's working. <laughs> That's right. Go down in hole. I command you. Oh, wait, not me. Uh, not me. You. <laughs> I'm not really. <laughs> I don't stand on the first day. You beat them. I don't. Oh, keep your six hands to yourself. <laughs> Ma'am, I. Oh, no, no. I just wait. <laughs> not even a beetle. <laughs> 
<laughs> George, we did it! <laughs> George, no! Wait! Don't! But I have to say goodbye. We had a kooky time, huh? But if I let you out, you'll destroy the jungle, won't you? Yeah. Well, then, this is goodbye, isn't it? <laughs> Somebody ought to do something about that leak! with superior sight and the superior ability to smell. to stop him. Why don't you use your magic, Buck? George, you're au natural. Yes, George is a natural rescuer. No, no, I mean, you're Buck naked. <laughs> No, I'm George. You know, of jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lost. <laughs> lost your loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> George needs a new loincloth. Did the jungle just get colder? Turned. George! He's not there. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie. Hey, cookie. Hush. Hush. Don't you. Ciao, boy. What's that, Chef? You want a coconut? Is that what you want? <laughs> now, I don't speak elephant, but I think he's saying George is down by the lagoon. Let's go. Shep, go get George's loincloth. Good boy. No, Shep, loincloth, loincloth. Oh. Dookie Dookie, get my loincloth. Phew. Oh! George needs to get home and fast. Psst. Ape. Ape. Hey, ape. George. Huh, came from over there. Did you hear that? A merit badge to the girl who finds the animal that made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
There's a lot of screaming in the jungle today. Oh, George. <sighs> Phew. They stopped chasing George and throwing rocks. <gasps> okay, sun is there. Volcano there. I am here. So tree house must be. Oh heck, I don't know. Yes, clothes! Beautiful clothes! Why not? I say, Dr. Living Good, what a relief to finally find you. Oh, no, no. George's name is George. And after eight long months of searching... Georgia. Oh, terrible journey. Storms at sea, pirates, cannibals, pirate cannibals. Oh, I would have found you too if I hadn't fallen into that hole. You fell down there? And I never came out. Bad luck, that, eh? Wait. If you're there, but you're also here, that means you're a... 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 Oh! <laughs> right, so if you're a... A ghost! <laughs> and I'm wearing your clothes. <sighs> Boo? Then I must be wearing ghost pants! <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> and so, George continues his journey in search of his elusive loincloth across deserts. Hot, hot, hot. Over snow-capped mountains. Cold, cold, cold. Across raging rivers. Red, red. Where? No. No! <laughs> yeah, why are you hiding? <laughs> I lost my loincloth. <gasps> you mean you make it? <laughs> Prophecies are true! <laughs> According to these ancient hieroglyphics, a man with no clothes will arrive and become our king. George is a man? Mm. With no clothes? Mm. I give you your king! <laughs> uh, why do you throw wood under George's throne? It's part of the ceremony. Are spices part of the ceremony? And breadcrumbs. This ancient combination of 12 herbs and spices is formulated to keep your majesty succulent and tender and... Uh, happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good ceremony. Mm. Mm. Yes, eat, eat. Get nice and fat so we can have you for dinner. You mean have George over for dinner? Right. So we can have you over for dinner. We'll eat you. What? Eat, eat. Mm. I'll be right back. Hmm. Naked man is declared king. Everyone celebrates. <laughs> okay, so far. Oh. <gasps> Fine print. George gets tossed in cauldron. Okay, sure. George gets cooked into soup. Okay, okay. Then they eat the soup with George in it! And now, my king, it is time to fulfill your destiny! <laughs> the king has escaped! Get him! Or he gets all tough and stringy! <laughs> Which path does George take? <laughs> There he is!
George made it. Let's agree that this never happened. Now, to get spare loincloth... Surprise! <gasps> George, I, uh, I got you this. Oh, it's just what I always wanted. Uh, yes? Uh, never mind. <laughs>